and Nur, the light. In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful. This is a shura which we have sent down and enjoined, and in which we have sent down clear signs that perhaps you may remember. The adulterers and adulterer flog each of them a hundred stripes, and let not any pity, mercy for them withhold you from supporting Allah's religion. If you believe in Allah and the last day, and let a party of believers witness their punishment. The adulterer shall not marry save an adulteress or an idolatrous. And as for the adulteress, none shall marry her except an adulterer or an idolater. All that is forbidden to the believers. And those who defame chaste women and then do not bring forth witnesses, flog them with eight stripes and never accept their testimony, for they are perverse persons. Save those who afterwards repent and make amends, for truly Allah is forgiving, merciful. And those who accuse their wives and have no witnesses but themselves, then the testimony of each of them shall be a testimony sworn by Allah four times repeated, that he is indeed of those that speak the truth. And the fifth is that Allah's curse be upon him if he be of those that lie. But it shall ever the chastisement from her if she testify a testimony four times repeated, sworn by Allah that he is of those that lie. And a fifth time that the wrath of Allah be upon her if he has spoken the truth. If were not for the kindness of Allah and his mercy towards you, and Allah is forgiving and all wise. Surely those who advance the slander are a gang among you. Regard it not as evil for you, nay, it is good for you. To every man among them shall it be done according to the sin he has committed. As for him that had the greater part of it among them, he shall have a painful chastisement. If only the faithful man and woman, when you heard of it, had formed a favorable judgment in their own minds and said, this is a manifest slander. If only they had brought for witness of it. Since they failed to bring any witnesses, they verily are the liars in the sight of Allah. And had it not been for the grace of Allah and his mercy on you in this world, and hereafter a great punishment would have befallen you because of that which you spread abroad. You received it with your tongues and uttered with your mouths that of which you had no knowledge, but you counted it a trifle while it was serious in the sight of Allah. Should you not have said when you heard of it, it is not right of us to talk about this. Glory be to you. This is a grievous calumny. Allah has admonished you that you never repeat the like of these if you are in truth believers. And Allah makes the signs clear to you, for Allah is all knowing, all wise. As for those who love that indecency, adultery, should spread amongst believers, a painful punishment awaits them in this world and the hereafter. Allah knows, and you know not. Had it not been for the grace of Allah and His mercy towards you, yet Allah is kind, merciful. O you who believe, follow not the steps of Satan, for whosoever will follow the steps of Satan, surely he will enjoin on him what is indecent and blameworthy. Had it not been for Allah's grace unto you, 
and his mercy, none of you would have ever been purified. But Allah causes whom he will to be purified. And Allah is hearer, knower. Let not those endowed with dignity and means among you swear that they will not give to their kindred and to the needy and to emigrants in the cause of Allah. Let them rather forgive and ignore the offense. Do you not wish that Allah may forgive you? And Allah is forgiving, merciful. Those who slander chest woman, ignorant even of sin, who are believers, are cursed in the world and the hereafter, and for them awaits a terrible torment. On the day when their own tongues and their own hands and their feet shall bear witness against them as to what they used to do. On that day, Allah will give them the full recompense they deserve, and they will realize that Allah is the manifest truth. Wild women are for wild men, and wild men for wild women. Good women are for good men, and good men for good women. Such are innocent of death, which people say, for them is forgiveness and generous provision. O you who believe, do not enter houses other than your own houses, until you ask for permission, and salute those in them that is best for you, perhaps you will remember. If you do not find anyone therein, do not enter until you have been given permission, and if it is said to you, go back, then go back, for that is pure for you, and Allah has full knowledge of whatever you do. There shall be no harm in your entering uninhabited houses wherein is supply for your needs, and Allah knows what you do openly and what you hide. Say to the believers that they should restrain their eyes and guard their modesty. That will be pure for them. Allah is well aware of what they do. And say to the believing woman that they should restrain their eyes and guard their modesty, and that they display not their ornaments except what appears on them, and that they draw their veils over their bosoms and display not their ornaments except to their husbands or their fathers or their husbands' fathers or their sons or their husbands' sons or their brothers or their brothers' sons or their sisters' sons or their women, or their slaves, or male domestics who have no natural sexual force, or children who know nothing of women's nakedness. And let them not strike their feet together, so as to reveal their hidden ornaments. And repent you all to Allah, O you believers, that you may succeed. And marry those among you who are single, male or female, and the righteous of your male and female slaves. If they are poor, Allah of his bounty will enrich them, and Allah is all-embracing, all-knowing. And let those who cannot find a way to marriage be chastised until Allah of his bounty enrich them. And if those whom your right hands possess ask for a deed of man's mission, write it down for them. If you know good in them, and give them a portion of the wealth of Allah which he has given you, and force not your female slaves into prostitution. In order to acquire the goods of this world alive, if they wish to preserve their chastity, yet if any of force them, Surely Allah will be merciful to them after their compulsion. And verily, we have set down to you explanatory verses and an example of those who passed away before you, an exhortation for the God-fearing. Allah is the light of the heavens and of the earth. Stimulated of his light 
is as a niche wherein is a lamb. The lamb is in a glass. The glass is as it were a glittering star lighted from a blessed tree, an olive, neither of the east nor of the west, whose oil would almost glow forth, even if no fire touched it. It is light upon light. Allah guides whom he wills to his light, and Allah sets forth parables to man, for Allah is knower of all things. In others, which Allah has allowed to be raised up, that his name may therein be remembered, in them is he glorified morning and evening. Men whom neither merchandise nor sale beguil from the remembrance of Allah, and from the observance of prayer, and paying to the poor their due, because they fare a day when hearts and eyes will be overturned. That Allah may recompense them for the best of what they did, and increase reward for them of his bounty. Allah provides for whom the will without measure. As for those who disbelieve, their deeds are like a mirage in a desert, which the thirsty things to be watered till he comes unto it, he finds it nothing, but finds Allah there. Then Allah fully pays him his account, and Allah is swift at reckoning. Or like darkness on a deep sea covered by waves, riding upon waves. Above which are clouds, darkness upon darkness. When a man reaches forth his hand, he can hardly see it. And he to whom Allah shall not give light, he has no light at all. Have you not seen that all that is in the heavens and the earth glorifies Allah? The birds as they spread their wings. Every creature knows its prayer and its praise, and Allah knows what they do. Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and of the earth, and unto Allah is the final return. Have you not seen how Allah drives clouds lightly forward, then gather dams together, then piles them in masses? And then you see the rain coming forth from their midst, and he causes clouds like mountains charged with hail to descend from the heaven, and he makes it to fall on whom he will, and from whom he will, he turns it aside. The brightness of his lightning all but takes away the sight. Allah alternates the night and the day. Truly, in this is a teaching for man of insight. And Allah has created every creature of water. Some of them go upon their bellies, and some of them go upon two feet, and some of them go on four feet. Allah creates what he pleases. Surely Allah has power over all things. Verily, we have sent down distinguishing signs, and Allah guides whom he will unto the straight path. And they, hypocrites, say, We believe in Allah and in the Messenger, and we obey. Yet later a party of them turn away. These are not of the faithful. And when they are called before Allah and His Messenger, that He may judge between them, behold, a party of them turn away. But had the truth been on their side, they would have come to Him willingly. Is there a disease in their hearts, or do they doubt? Or are they afraid that Allah and His Messenger will deal unfairly with them? Nay, they themselves are evildoers. The words of the believer, when summoned to Allah, and his messenger that he may judge between them, are only to say, we have heard and we obeyed, these are they with whom it shall be well. And whoever obeys Allah and his messenger and fares, Allah and venerates him, such indeed are the victorious. They have sworn by Allah, 
to the most solemn oath that if you beat them, they will certainly march forth. Say, do not swear. Obedience is more worthy. Wherein Allah is well aware of what you do. Say, obey Allah and obey the messenger. But if you turn away, then only the burden of his duty is on him, and the burden of your duty is on you. If you obey him, Muhammad, he shall have guidance. But the messenger's only duty is plainly to convey. Allah has promised to those of you who believe and do good works that he will cause them to succeed others in the land. As he gave succession to those who were before them and that he will establish for them that religion which he has accrued for them and that after their affairs he will give them security in exchange. They worship me, they ascribe nothing as partner unto me and whoever disbelieves after that such are miscreants, impious. Establish the prayer and pay the zakat and obey the messenger that perhaps you may find mercy. O Muhammad, do not think that the disbelievers can weaken Allah on his own earth. Their dwelling place shall be a fire, an evil journey's end. O you who believe, let your slaves and those of you who have not come of age ask in leave of you at three times a day before they come into your presence before the prayer of dawn and when you lay aside your garments at midday and after the prayer of night these are your three times of privacy no blame shall attach to you or to them if after these times when you go rounds of visiting on one another thus does Allah make clear to you his signs Allah is knower wise and when the children among you come of age puberty let them ask leave to come into your presence as they who were before them ask it thus Allah make clear to you his signs and Allah is knower wise as for women who are past childbearing and have no hope of marriage, no blame shall attach to them if they lay aside their garments in such a way as not to show adornments. But to refrain is better for them. Allah is hearer, knower. No blame is there upon the blind, nor any blame upon the lame, nor any blame upon the sick, nor on yourselves, if you eat from your houses, or the houses of your fathers, or the houses of your mothers, or the houses of your brothers, or the houses of your sisters, or the houses of your father's brothers, or the houses of your father's sisters, or the houses of your mother's brothers, or the houses of your mother's sisters, or whereof you hold the keys, or from a friend. No sin shall it be for you whether you eat together or apart. But when you enter houses, salute one another with the greetings from Allah, blessed and sweet. Thus, Allah makes clear his revelations for you, and perhaps you may understand. They only are believers who believe in Allah and his messenger, and when they are with him upon any affair of common interest, depart not until they have asked leave of him. Those who ask leave of you are those who believe in Allah and his messenger. So if they ask your leave for some affair of theirs, give leave to whom you will of them and ask for them forgiveness of Allah for Allah is forgiven, merciful. Make not the calling of the messenger among you as your calling one of another. Allah knows those of you who steal away, hiding themselves, and let those who conspire to evade orders beware less grief or painful punishment.